Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Well, I'm way, way out there, guys. I'm way up in Western Maryland on a beautiful mountain reservoir, and I'm the only one out here. And I'm catching, at this point, a smallmouth bass on a jerkbait. Uh, I'm up here for walleye. I really am up here for walleye. Some big crappie, but I'm working points with jerk baits, which will catch pretty much anything. You know, I'm not allowed to be catching these bass because I'm not recreationally bass fishing, but I am happy as heck to get my line grabbed by this beautiful mountain smallie. So there it is. First one on a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one. Let's put it back. It's a little guy. There's probably a lot of fishing to have happen today. It's beautiful out here. We had some weather come in. We got wind, clouds, maybe about 60 degrees. Let's get at it. For some of you that may remember, the last time I was up here, which is the Savage River Reservoir, I caught six species in one hole. And one of them was a walleye. A few of them were some great big fat crappie. I caught my personal best rock bass. I caught a bluegill. I caught a smallmouth, largemouth. This place is crazy awesome. I mean, it is just a beautiful getaway from the grind, from the crowds, and from the grocery store. So if I uh, can land a few fish for the stringer, that'd be awesome. And uh, a jerk bait will catch pretty much anything. So let's keep going. The reservoir is incredibly low. They did a major drawdown, I believe, because they're doing work on the dam. I'm not 100% sure, but I can pretty much see everything I'm working with. This shoreline is bare. The boat ramp was sketchy. It's always sketchy, but it was extra sketchy today with it being so low. But I managed, I'm in the water, and I'm fishing, and that's all that matters. All right, there comes fish number two, guys. Let's see what we get. Oh. Um, Sun's just breaking out, isn't that pretty? Another nice little smallie, guys. These smallies are beautiful, kind of pale. Look how pale that fish is. But that's number two on the what is the LG bone color? These uh, the water's a little colored. It's usually crystal, crystal clear up here, but the water's a little, just a tinge of color. And I decided to throw this bright chartreuse belly mega bass right in front of these smallies. These smallies love this color. So there it is, bass number two. There, gosh, back-to-back -back cast, guys. I found a little school of them, I think. Decent little fish. All right, there's number three. Surfing them in. And, yep, another smallie. Nice little belly on them. There might be a bunch of fish caught today. They might be small, but every now and then, this place gives up some really nice fish. There we go, guys. Right off a real rocky point. Almost let off my trolling motor for a minute hit the pause button i got a nice fish let's see what it is it's such a curious thing to find out what's swimming in here considering there's such a plethora of species so i got the jerk bait on still i've been working down some of these really steep banks it's a nicer fish a large mouth a pretty decent large mouth too check that out beautiful fish that's the first cast on that rocky point nice beautiful looks like a male because he's got those bright red eyes it's a good day already. It's not the target species. I'm, again, not trying to catch these bass, but you know what? I'm not going to complain if they bite. Let me get the pliers get him out. The wind is hustling. I got a lot of chop on the water. This pelican's handling it beautifully, but the wind is my friend right now when it comes to fishing, no question. These fish are suspended on these bluff walls. They're really, really tight up against the rocks and they're suspended in very deep water. That fish was probably in about 40 some feet of water suspended right up against these rocks. So let's see if we can find some more. Oh, there we go, another fish, another nice one. Dang, they are all over this spot. I got them marked beautifully, let's see what we got. Be amazing if it's a back to back cast and looks like this one's a nice brown fish guys really nice smallie from what i can tell let's see yeah really nice smallmouth wow this is probably the biggest smallmouth i've caught out of this lake look at that that's a chunky fish beautiful beautiful fish they like this lg bone color that's for sure <laughs> now that's a little darker but look at the belly on that smallie amazing Back-to-back -back cast, small mouth, large mouth. Man, that was a nice hit. Jeez, there's a bunch of fish here, guys. Oh, it's a nice one, jeez. Is that another small or large mouth? Gosh, guys, this is just a beautiful thing. That's large mouth, small mouth, now another large mouth. Amazing, they like this bait. Come here. Oh, isn't that cool? 
seeing tons of fish. I'm just hoping for that walleye. All right, guys. I don't know. I've lost count already. Isn't that a good thing? Let's see if it's a small ear or a large mouth. It's a large mouth again. Another chunky one, guys. This is going to be an epic day. All right, I'm going to throw a drop shot to some fish I see. And the drop shot definitely gets hold of some walleye and crappie and everything else. So let's see if I can add to this group of species I'm already catching. Here we go, got something on. That ran a little different. Let's see what's going on here. Nice fish, whatever it is. Drop shot time, guys, another largemouth. So yeah, I've marked them well. They're all right here. A mixed bag of smallies and largemouth. It's a nice one on the drop shot. Dang, this is this is incredible. I've, I've really only been out here a very short time. So here we go. Got him right in the nose. Just the open hook, a little robo worm. I already lost the robo worm, so what I'm gonna do now, I have it lying in wait. I've got my little Z-Man trick shots. If I can hold on to it, slippery fingers, got a fish on my hand there. So that's a trick shot in the twilight. So it's that elastic material, it doesn't come off nearly as quick as those robo worms do. So that's what's going on next. And that's the exact bait that I've actually caught a walleye out of here before on. So let's drop that back down there and see how it goes. Well, I am glad I could catch that one fish on the drop shot, but this wind is hustling and there ain't no way I'm gonna control that drop shot as well as I'd like to. So as well as that jerk bait was working, I'm gonna keep throwing it and hope for the best when it comes to adding some species to this list. Oh my God, another nice bite. Ah, jeez, what a hit. What we got here? Another large mouth looks like. Yeah, so, sorry about the wind if you're hearing that wind blow, but man just outrageous outrageous just a great jerkbait bite right now that's the pattern there's no doubt dang i'm telling you guys this is out this is incredible they are biting let's see if it's a smallie this time and what do we got another large mouth All right, I'm gonna give that little spot a rest and give those large mouth and small mouth a break. Just work this bluff wall and see if I can pick up anything else that wants to bite a jerk bait. And there we go. I just turned around and fished to the other side and got myself another one. Incredible. The wind is blowing right on this bluff wall. It's it's getting a little treacherous out here, but that's what's getting these fish to bite. There's no doubt. There we go. Got me another one. Let's see what's up. Guys, this wind, I don't think I've ever been in conditions like this in my Pelican. So this is a testament to how stable this boat runs. It's beautiful. It's holding up well. I'm rocking and rolling a little bit, but I'm still catching fish. Here he comes. That's a chunky one right there. Man, too cool. Challenging times call for good measures. This is something that should be done all the time. This is a very stable boat, but in these kind of conditions, the leather jacket's definitely going on. I have no excuse for not putting it on originally, or a lot of times I'm out here, but it's on now. It's getting so rough out here, guys. I might have to get out of the wind and find some cover. Uh, I'm going to go around this bend and I think if I get out of this main lake area and go around the bend and get out of this what I think is a, a westerly wind, I'll be okay. Dang guys, I'm trying to get out of the wind. First spot I hit with the jerk bait, I whack another one. Let's see what we got. Another largemouth. Incredible. This is going to be the deal. These uh, steep banks are holding tons and tons of pre-spawn bass and they are eating today. I think I'm on track to have the best jerk bait bite I've ever had. There we go. Got me another one. Let's see what you got. A lot of largemouth today, so I'm anxious to see what else 
is going to bite. That's another nice largemouth. Beauty. Nice fish. Nice chunky fish. There we go. Guys, I got out of the wind, but they're still biting. It looks like it's one of the smaller fish, though. Isn't that funny? Decent little fish, though. I'll take them all day long. What is it? What is it? This is the best thing about fishing over here is that we have a plethora of different fish. Again, another little smallmouth. Good deal. Let's get the flies out. That wind was hostile over there. It's still blowing. I'm still going to get bit, I think. But man, that was a rough scene. There he is again. My God. Second cast back to back. Another smallie, it looks like. Nice. Truly, truly an epic jerkbait bite. There's no question. That is a gorgeous fish. Look at this bronze color on this fish. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Amazing. Way lost count. Guys, I've only been out here. I'm not joking. Literally, I've been out here about an hour. That's all it's been, so... Let's keep on rolling. Here we go. Got another one. Yeah, I got a largemouth this time. Amazing. The second you get by a little bit of wood, the largemouth bite. Look at that chunky fish. Beautiful. Yeah, Ali. That's talking about hitting it on the paws, guys. Crazy. Absolutely awesome. Knock the slack out of it. This feels like a decent fish, guys. Either I snagged it in the size or side, or it's got a little more size to it. Let's see. I'm really getting out of the wind now. It feels great out here. Another largemouth. Look where he's supposed to be. Golly. Again, right over a tree. Amazing. Oh, it feels like a great fish, guys. They're all great fish, aren't they? They're all just a great average size. No dinks in this group. Just beautiful, chunky pre-spawn fish. Amazing. I came back here to get out of the wind. The wind completely shifted. So I'm going to work my way into the wind, beat up this bank, and go back from whence I came and see if I can continue to find some of those hungry fish and hopefully the ones that'll go on the stringer. Here we go, guys. All right, let's see. Always a mystery. Let me surf him in here. It doesn't look too huge. Another smallie. Nice, beautiful little smallie. Nice. Good bite, guys. Really good bite. Oh my God. My hands are getting sore. Incredible. Nice fish, it feels like. Feels like a good one, guys. This is tugging a little more than normal. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's surging. It feels so different. I don't know why. That's why. Because I got him in the back. <laughs> I got him in the back. Let me stay off these rocks. Oh my gosh. That's how hard they're hitting. They're just swiping at it. He got all the hooks in them. I got to make sure I don't blow into these rocks, guys. I'm telling you, the wind, again, it shifted. And I thought I was getting out of it. And I'm just right back in it, guys. Here we go. All right. I think I'm good for a minute. Oh, there you go. That's a little bit better. Still got one in the back, though, don't you, bud? Open up. Probably do that with my hand. No pliers required. There he goes. Another beauty. Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, I really, truly hope you saw that on the chesty, if not right here. Came up literally, I was ready to pull it out of the water. That was absolutely the most insane bite all day. I haven't had a bite like that in a while, to be honest with you. That was crazy, and he's a fatty. What a belly on him. Guys, the wind has been crazy. I just got out of the spot where I was just full-blown inundated with wind after it shifted on me. It shifted so bad, and it blew so hard, I had my pliers right here, and this whole thing flipped up, and my pliers went flying out of the darn boat. So now I got these, these uh, split-shot pliers I'm going to have to use, which will work, and there's a bass going back. been truly insane today guys truly truly insane truly no question the best jerkbait bite I've ever had although I am not going for bass 
what can I do but let them bite? Oh, there's another bite right there. Unbelievable. This is my little spot where I caught two smallmouth back to back. Let's see if I can catch another one. Unreal. Chasing it down. There he is. Back to back cast. Got something else. This time it's a, another largemouth. Unreal. Guys, seriously, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this bite. Absolutely a blast. It's a weird world we're living in. This is truly bringing me some joy through all this pain. So yeah, that wind situation kind of reminds me of what it's like to sit at a campfire. You ever sit at a campfire and you get on one side to avoid the smoke blowing in your face and the second you switch sides of the campfire, the campfire smoke just blows right back in your face. It's like it chases you down. That's exactly what happened. I was literally just getting destroyed out here with the wind, went around that bend. It was all calm for a minute, but just out of nowhere, the wind just completely shifted around. And here I am in the spot where I was getting just crushed by the wind and it's dead calm. So I'm gonna get back to that spot where all hell was breaking loose. And uh, if those fish are still there, it's gonna be a lot easier to control this pelican. And I can't imagine what the bite's probably gonna be like once I get there. There we go. I'm back at my spot. And the wind is much more calm now and the fish are still here, unbelievable. What do we got here? Oh boy, I think I got him in the side. He's running a little different. Yeah, just a nice smallie. Just another nice little smallie. Beautiful fish. They got big bellies this time of year, no doubt. Oh man, that felt like a good bite. Let's see what we got. And the next candidate to largemouth. Smallmouth, largemouth, here we go again. It's about five o'clock, the sun is starting to dip in there, looking beautiful as always. Jeez, <laughs> back to back, back to back cast, guys. Oh, that's a nice one, I think it's a smallie. It's a nice smallmouth. Yeah, that's a good smallmouth, guys, right there. That's beautiful. I don't think it's quite as big as the first one I caught, the first big one I caught, but this is a nice one. I'm doing everything I can do to not get into these rocks because it is blowing again. It's been coming and going, but look at the size of that beauty. That is a fat smallmouth. <laughs> look at the belly on that thing, guys. Insane. There we go. Man. Nice. Good bite. That feels so awesome. Another smallie, guys. Another beautiful fat smallie coming in the boat. That's the shortest, fattest one of the day. Oh my God, just reeling it guys, just reeling it back into the boat. And another little largey. That's how, that's how epic this bite is today, guys. Oh baby, make sure I put another one in them. That looks like a large mouth. It looks like a beautiful large mouth. There's no way, <laughs> no way I'm gonna be able to give a count to how many fish I've caught today. Truly epic, no question. All right, this is where it all started, guys. Not really, I caught a couple off the very first point, but this is where all, all of it started. There we go, another good one right here. Wow, this feels like a nice one, guys. Just bluff walls all day long. These sheer drops are just loving it. Nice fish. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now the largemouth looks like, yep, just a nice chunky fish. Awesome. They're definitely still here. <laughs> They're definitely still here. Good gracious. Oh my God. Awesome, awesome, awesome. My hands are getting sore. My hands have been sore. What do you got here? Another largemouth. Give that a break for a second. Let's cast right here. Let's give it another side. There he is, unbelievable. Both sides have got bass, guys. Both sides. Oh, he's pegged nice. Wow, he feels nice. He hasn't come up yet, there he is. And it's a, has a fat large mouth. Nice. 
been very rare a moment that I've actually had calm winds like this. And as the sun dips, that usually happens. So let me throw this drop shot in there and hope for something else other than a bass since that's what I'm not fishing for. I know there's tons and tons of fish off this little bluff wall all the way down the bottom. I saw them, so let's see what this little trick shots wants to do. There we go. Drop shot fish for once. Let's see what it is. It was down deep, so there's no telling what's down there. In this case, it looks like a nice smallie. Just another big chunky smallmouth on a drop shot this time. That's very cool. Right in the nose, truly nothing but pure insanity today, guys. All right, I'm gonna put the drop shot away because I just got snagged up and it broke off and it's late enough to the point where I don't think I need to re-rig that. That jerkbait bite is just too insane. I'm gonna hope for the best and see if I can get a last minute something or other to go on the stringer. Otherwise, uh, we're just gonna see if these largemouth and smallmouth still wanna go crazy. There we go. It's so funny because they hit it and they come at you. You think you got something small, but then they and they start tugging. That feels like a decent fish. Nothing crazy. Just another beautiful. Actually, that's a real skinny one. That's probably good. Don't it is a little bit small compared to some of the ones we've been catching, but it's another fish. That doesn't end. It just doesn't end, folks. It's unreal. It truly is unreal. Another good fish. Come on in here. Come on in here. Finally, I wanted, got the guts to jump a little bit. Amazing. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. It's amazing how little they're jumping today. Gosh, nice large mouth. Good one. Good one, good one. They're all, they're all good, like I said. Mm, back to back casts. That's happened a few times today. Man, I'm waiting for that giant to hit. This one feels nice. They all feel nice, like I said, but let's see. Oh, this is beautiful. Amazing. Gosh, I, I would love to be able to share this with somebody. If I had someone out here with me, it'd be great. But it's a good time to be out here alone, that's for sure. Guys, it's just, it's seriously getting to be every cast. Seriously, every single cast almost. Unreal. Wow. Just amazing. Just amazing. I can't show all these fish to you guys. I'll just show them to you when they're beautiful, big, small mouth like that, and he gets in the boat. That's what I'll show you. I'm going to have to not show you every fish I get. Let me go ahead and uh, get unhooked here. There we go. And then get this beauty. This is the ones... I really get a kick out of. I don't have a chance to get the beautiful smallmouth like that all the time. Stunner. Mm. Again, another one. Golly, this is it, guys. This time of the night is insane. I thought it was crazy earlier, no question. All right, since uh, you're probably getting bored of me catching fish all day, let's at least tell you what kind of rod, reel, and setup I got for all this madness. It's a Lose Custom Speed Stick. You ever heard me talk about those before? This is the Jerkbait Special. This is 10 pound test in Vezex Seaguar fluorocarbon. And obviously that is the Mega Bass. That's the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One in the LG Bone. And I got a Lose Pro G medium speed reel is really everything that I've got going on here to make the, all this craziness happen. And it's truly that, truly crazy. At this point, I'm gonna tell you folks right now, I don't know how many of these fish I'm gonna show you, but I've caught over 50 bass. I've caught over 50 bass, more largemouth than smallmouth, but plenty of smallmouth mixed in there, which is just absolutely incredible. All of this happening while I'm trying to catch something to eat. Go figure, right? There we go again, guys. I don't know how many row, I don't know how many in a row that is, but it's nonstop and it's back and forth between these beautiful smallies and those beautiful largies. Incredible. All right, folks. I know for a fact that I'm sitting in at least 20 to 30 feet of water, and my depth finder 
is flashing because it is so thick full of something. And earlier I saw tons and tons and tons of stuff, whether it be bait fish or I don't know what, but I'm gonna drop this uh, half ounce little Hopkins spoon straight down in the mix and see what the heck's going on down there. There's no way it's 16 feet. It's still going. It's still going. I got this uh, I got this 30, bra 30 pound braid, 30 pound braid. I almost got, felt like I got something hitting it all the way down. 30 pound braid with a 15 pound test fluorocarbon leader. I'm just gonna jig for a minute and see if there's any walleye down there. This is what I did way back when. I can't remember when it was, maybe September, October of last year when I caught six different species doing this. But I mean, there are tons and tons of fish around here. I'm just curious to see what the heck they are. Guys, I just did it. Whatever's down there ate my Hopkins spoon. It was way down there. It's a large mouth. It's a good large mouth down deep. I've been catching them on the jerk bait, and literally they're so thick in here that I threw a little half ounce spoon down there and caught one of the bigger large mouth of the day. Look at that on a Hopkins spoon. Isn't that cool? So that's a jerk bait fish. That's a drop shot, and uh, now a Hopkins spoon. I'm gonna throw it back down there. There's tons and tons of fish down there. And again, if it works out like it did last time, I was out here, this little spoon catches everything. So I might be able to get into something here. Let's just drop it back down and see what else is lurking in the depths. So out of all those fish that I see right in this area, it seems like that one large mouth like the spoon. So I put that up, I gave it a little bit of time, not nearly as much attention on that spoon as that jerk bait, but I didn't pick the jerk bait back up yet. I've got a Ned rig out here. I got a little Ned rig down deep because it's so darn calm which is part of the reason why I don't have the life jacket on. But the main reason I don't have the life jacket on is because I just used up 64 gigs of SD cards in these GoPros. I had to switch them out. So I had to take off the life jacket to get to this stuff. So it's nice out here. It's dead calm. I got a super stable Pelican, so I'm cozy and comfortable. Let's see if the Ned Rig wants to pick something up. I got about an hour before sunset. It seems really dim out here, but the sun, sun's still shining in the mountains off in the distance. So I got a little bit of time to do a little bit more damage, and damage I have done. Amazingly, nothing on the Ned Rig. You know there's something going on with the jerkbait bite when they're not eating the Ned Rig. So I'm gonna throw this one more time, just one more cast with the Ned Rig over by this little rock, and then we're gonna go back to whacking them with the jerkbait, and then we're gonna have to call it a night. There we go. Nice, awesome. It looks like a large mouth with the water being so uh, calm now, I could see him a long ways off. Yeah, this is, I'm working my way back towards that little honey hole. This is a chunky one. And I think we're gonna end the night with the jerk bait, guys. We're definitely gonna continue for the next maybe half an hour and see how many more of these we can catch. That was a nice bite. Oh, another one. Good fish, guys. Real good one. This might, wow, this might be the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> this might be a good one. He's pulling me around a little bit. Awesome. Guys, I caught me a giant walleye. If he doesn't come off, I got myself my meat fish. This is what I'm here for. No one can tell me otherwise. I'm gonna bring him in, guys. I got myself my meat fish, and I cannot believe it. Guys, look at me. I got myself my walleye. I told you I'd do it. <laughs> I 
can't believe it. This is absolutely outrageous. That is a beautiful eater right now. Look at that. Exactly why I've been throwing a jerk bait, exactly what I was hoping to catch. And yes, I am food fishing today, guys. I've been whacking the bass, but look at that. Guys, I'm gonna call it. This is the way to end the night. I got myself a walleye way up in Western Maryland in a beautiful mountain lake in the middle of nowhere. Folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.